it's me. Man, who doesn't love the Mario Bros? I do, and I love the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. It's a weird show, and today I'm going to be making a particularly weird food from a particularly weird episode. So in episode 49, in the live action segment, the Mario Bros get a call from the President of the United States, and he tells them that the leader of the USSR at the time, Mikhail Gorbachev, is going to be visiting them to sample some good old American pizza and learn about American culture that way. At first they don't believe him and they start pulling some classic japes on Mr. President, such as this. Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> but soon enough, this man comes through their door and it's Gorbachev and they have to make him pizza. However, Mikhail samples um, like the sauce that they have on their uh, pizza crust that they're making and decides that he wants to customize it. So he adds borscht and Ukrainian sour cream and caviar. So that's what I'm gonna try to make today. Gorby's Pizza from the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Now as far as I can tell, Mikhail only added stuff on top of the sauce. No cheese or any other kind of toppings were added, so I won't be adding any. Now the idea of like a pizza with sour cream on it instead of cheese is interesting on its own. And I think beets and tomatoes could probably go well together. But I'm still worried about the beet soup and fish eggs being added to a pizza. So I don't have any Ukrainian sour cream, but I have Publix brand and hopefully that's good enough. I'll also be using lumpfish roe instead of real caviar because, well, for obvious reasons, but even this was pretty expensive for me. I will also not be doing what Gorby does and just pouring a whole bunch of borscht onto the pizza crust because I'm pretty sure that's just going to turn into soup if I do that. Instead, I'm straining the borscht and adding the beet sediment that comes with it onto the pizza. That should probably give me enough of the borscht flavor without actually making a soup. Although the sour cream might still turn into soup. I don't know what's gonna happen. I started kneading the dough and it's been a very long time since I've tried to do this so I don't know what I'm doing and you're just gonna have to put up with that. I don't need any cooking people in my comments being like, oh you, you, you're not doing it right and you need to use a pizza stone, you gotta grow your own wheat. Heck off. Once I got the pizza into shape, I did what the internet told me and did a pre-bake of the dough before putting on any stuff. Oh my god, the crust was so thick. Then I started putting on the sauce, and, and then I started putting on the sour cream, and it immediately was just not wanting to do what I wanted it to do. I probably put on too much sauce and sour cream. As you can see, it's just like mixing together here. And then I also realized I'd forgotten to put on the borscht. So I started putting it on top of some of the sour cream and then and then on top of the tomato sauce like it was supposed to be in the other spots. I finished putting on the sour cream as best as I could and then it was time for the caviar which was also pretty difficult to get on there right. But I eventually did it and got everything on there. So now it was time for the second bake. Hey Luigi, can you watch this pizza for me? Watching Pizza Mario! Forget about it! Luigi, please. I really need to work on my model of the frontline Gelf soldier from the 1325 War of the Bucket. Hey Mario. Okay. So while we wait on that to bake, why don't I talk more about the actual episode in question in this segment that's probably pretty obviously recorded before I actually bake the pizza. So if you don't know, each Super Mario Bros. Super Show episode is divided into a live action segment and an animated segment. The live action segment sort of like wraps around the animated segment. It plays at the beginning and the end, though most of it is at the end. But, you know, it, it acts as an opener and a closer for each episode. And usually, these two segments don't have anything in common with each other. Like, you know, the live action segment might be about Mario getting turned into a Frankenstein kind of monster. And then the animated segment's gonna be about them in, like, Camelot or something. And also, the animated segments take place in the Mushroom Land, while the 
live action segments take place in their basement in Brooklyn that they lived in before going to the Mushroom Land. Anyway, in this episode, another unusual thing about it is that the animated segment actually is somewhat related to the live action segment. I don't need to talk too much about this animated segment, but it does contain someone who looks like Wario and someone dressed in Waluigi colors before either of these characters were invented. And most of it is itself a flashback to when the Mario Bros were going to plumbing school in the real world, as they call it in the shows, making it one of the few animated segments of the Mario cartoons that take place in the real world. My favorite one of these kinds of stories is an episode of the Super Mario Bros. 3 cartoon where there's no Mario and it just has Luigi getting turned into a dog and getting lost in Florida. But anyway, the animated segment of this episode has to do with Mario saving the US president and, if I'm remembering right, Gorbachev as well from a plumbing disaster. But you know, again, it's not that relevant to what I'm doing. We need to get back to the important part, the live action segment. So you know, the Mario Bros are not enthusiastic about making this pizza that Gorbachev has created, but they're worried that if they don't go along with it, it'll cause a diplomatic incident. But also they're worried that he's gonna hate it because it's gross and that's gonna cause a diplomatic incident. And they try to convince him to go somewhere else to get food, but he's insistent on trying this pizza that he's created. And then they do the... It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> Trope. And everything's okay. Everything works out, and Gorbachev says he's gonna open his own pizza chain in Russia. Это из-за него у нас в экономике бардак. Да благодаря ему у нас есть писахат. Mario, your pizza's ready. Come get it from the oven. Can you pull it out, Luigi? No, you asked me to watch it, Mario. I've already done enough favors for you today, like buying you that bottle. You know what'll help you feel more helpful, Luigi? Some seeds for the next Legend of Zelda. Mario, no! Uh, okay. Alright, so my stupid lapel mic audio cut out here for some reason. But I'll let you watch my facial expression and give the gist of my opinion here. So it surprisingly wasn't that bad. It's like the borscht, you don't really notice it, it kind of just blends into the tomato sauce unless it's in really high concentrations. The sour cream is strange, uh, cause I'm not used to something creamy but not cheese being on the pizza, it feels weird and alien. It feels like there should be cheese here, and there's just not cheese, and oh my god I just realized I'm not wearing my mustache. And the caviar, again, unless it's in really high concentrations, you don't even really notice it, and if you do, it's just like a subtle, kind of nice fishy flavor. I'm not saying it's good, but it's okay. It's not terrible, so good job, Gorby, I guess. I had to take several bites to really know what I thought about it. I was talking about how thick the crust was, but that, how I'm okay with that, because I really like bread and pizza crust. I ended up eating two slices of this pizza. I, I don't know if I'll be able to eat the rest, but I at least ate the two slices while they were fresh. Hey, thanks for sitting through that and making it to the end, especially if you're one of those cooking people I made fun of. If you like this, I have other videos like it, such as the one where I make swamp cabbage salad. I'd appreciate a like if you don't mind. Uh, bye.